Republicans are mad as fuck once again. Why are they mad? Not because like long lines are back on the menu for uh, you know citizens exercising their democratic rights, but they're mad because people have the audacity to say that uh, making black people vote, uh, making it harder for black people to vote, is actually not Jim Crow. It's uh, it's something else. Uh, uh, Tim Crow. That's what it is. Uh, shut up. Don't say it's Jim Crow or segregationist at all. Fuck you. Why are you saying that? It's not true. Here, let's uh, let Ben Shabibo own you in the marketplace of ideas uh, with an incredible analogy. I'm going to go pee. I already watched the video earlier, so. Jim Crow explicitly created a separate system of law for black Americans and treated them as inferior. There's nothing in the law like that. That is, that's not only an overstatement, it's just an outright lie. But, says Jamel Hill, all of corporate America should resonate to the lie. The law imposes new voter identification requirements for absentee ballots. Well, clearly that's racist. I mean, you mean you have to show that you are who you say you are when you vote absentee? If you can explain to me how that's racist, I'm willing to hear it. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? It limits the use of ballot drop boxes. Oh, you mean like ballot drop boxes where people could just stuff the ballot box or take ballots out of the ballot box? Hmm. It hands at state officials more power over local elections. Even before the legislation passed, many voters of color in Georgia faced hours-long queues at the polls. By the way, voter suppression doesn't involve long lines. Any more than long lines at Disneyland are ride suppression. You know what voter suppression is? Voter suppression is where you don't get to vote. Making those waits even more arduous, the new law bans giving food and water to people in line to vote. That's not even true. It bans giving any gift to people in line when they are within 150 feet of the polling place. You can bring water with you. There are people outside who can give you water. This is just not true. Dude, absolutely fucking cumstered and dumpstered. Sorry, guys. So... So listen, um, hypothetically, uh, people like to say, people like to say Jim Crow is bad, but separate but equal means they're separate, which is understandable because, you know, they should be separate, but they're Jim still equal. Equality is in the name, folks. How could you ever say Jim Crow laws are actually uh, devastating or bad when equality is built into the name separate but equal? Now. Not only that, but people like to say that this is discriminatory against black people. Well, show to me where it says black people cannot vote. The laws that we have in the segregated South are actually necessary. For example, the grandfather law. If your grandfather, hypothetically, is not allowed to vote, then you are not allowed to vote. That doesn't say that your grandfather has to be black. Maybe some black people's grandfathers were allowed to vote. I think that that is devastating that these liberals are hypothetically trying to make it seem like this is a segregative policy or discriminatory against blacks. That's the argument that fucking Ben Shabibo would make back then, and this is the modernized version of that argument. Point me to where the law says blacks can't vote is, is not a fucking own, okay? Also, there is so many different reasons why this analogy is so stupid. One, Rich people literally buy fast passes. Okay? Like, they can literally buy fast passes to fucking uh, vote uh, or skip the line. So that's really stupid. Two, waiting in any line is not the same as waiting in line for other shit. That's why, well, Ben Shabibo would make the argument for this as well because he's a fucking moron. But like, waiting in line for food in a bread line is different than waiting in fucking line to entertain yourself in the movie theater, okay? What the fuck? Just like waiting in fucking line to vote is different than waiting in line to entertain yourself and uh, purely have some uh, additional pleasure in your life. When you vote absentee? Yes, Jim Crow laws didn't explicitly make separate systems for black people. Like you said, they literally just made things, made voting harder for black people without saying the N word. Exactly, which is why I talked about the grandfather law, which is a real law. And that is exactly what Ben Shabibo's argument sounds like. Like, racists have always been very stupid otherwise, but very, very fucking clever and creative when it comes to using carefully coded language. 
they're not like saying black people are well at least when they're writing legislation they're not saying black people are n-words and cannot vote they're simply they're saying stuff like well there's a grandfather law or we are going to have literacy tests because it's important for people to uh be able to write and read That's how you fucking enact segregationist policies without literally say or poll taxes. Like that's how you enact segregationist policies without, uh, uh, without actually saying like black people can't do it. If you can explain to me how that's racist, I'm willing to hear it. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? It limits the use of ballot drop boxes. Oh, you mean like, Ballot drop boxes where people could just stuff the ballot box or take ballots out of the ballot box. Hmm. It hands state officials more power over local elections. Even before the legislation passed, many voters of color in Georgia faced hours long queues at the polls. By the way, voter suppression doesn't involve long lines any more than long lines at Disneyland are ride suppression. You know what voter suppression is? Voter suppression is where you don't get to vote. Making those weights even. I mean, yeah, that's the whole point, though. Like, that's literally the whole point. If you can't wait for six hours in a fucking line because you have a job and because the polling station is open on a work day only or because of health reasons, for example, exclusively is a man-made problem, by the way, when the government refuses to open up more polling stations in your neighborhood because uh, your neighborhood does simply does not have uh, enough of a socioeconomic standing for the government to care about it. That is suppression. You are deterring people from voting by artificially creating roadblocks. That's literally what suppression is. It doesn't always have to be uh, at the barrel of a gun. Okay. It, it doesn't literally always have to be like, Cops being like, oh, are you black? Oh, we'll get the fuck out of here. You can't vote today. Like, that's not voter suppression. Even more arduous, the new law bans giving food and water to people in line to vote. That's not even true. It bans giving any gift to people in line when they are within 150 feet of the polling place. You can bring water with you. There are people outside who can give you water. This is just not true. Ben's Disneyland argument makes no sense because if he got a one day pass to Disneyland and he spent the whole day in line for a Tower of Terror with his daughter, he loses his fucking mind and complain to park management. Yeah. And you bet your fucking ass he also wouldn't end up getting on the ride at the end of the day, too. Like, he probably would leave after three and a half fucking hours. He'd be like, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, wait. Guess what? Yeah, your fucking ride got suppressed. Also because you're too short. And you must be this tall to fucking ride this ride. So your daughter is probably fine, but you, my friend, are not. Yep. There you go. I mean, I, I said the exact same thing. Disneyland famously sells passes to let you skip the lines. Yep. So fucking stupid. Uh, yes, a competency test isn't perfect and can be abused. However, allowing legions of uninformed, oblivious people who can... Dude, this guy's just a literal fascist, dude. I mean, he has it in his bio. Like, I know he's sarcastically as theocratic fascist in his bio, but he literally is a fucking Christian fascist. I mean, he's arguing for literacy and competency tests for voters, dude. Like, wh what are you talking about? Like...
You do realize half the country thinks right wingers like us are uninformed, right? Wait, is this person really a right winger? Oh my god. <laughs> The fact is, who gets to write the test? The test can be so easily abused. I can imagine if Democrats are in power, the test would be the one uh, old people would fail on. This is such a bad take. I don't know how you can't see that. Republicans wouldn't win another election if they passed that. Yeah. Yeah, competency, competency test number one. Uh, question number one. Who's the president of the United States of America? Okay. That's it. Fucking owned. Like 64% of Republicans are like, I don't know. I can't answer this, brother. Fuck you. I'm under duress to answer this, fa this falsehood. I can't do it. It's Donald Trump. It's Donald Trump still. God damn it.